In the previous step, we learned how we can create a simple VR scene for our simulator. In this step, we want to learn how we can grab an object by our controller in the VR simulator. All right. Okay. In this step, we want to learn how we can grab an object by our controller in the VR scene. But before I start in this process, uh, I want to modify my room because in the previous test, I, uh, I saw the size of this room was very big and it was not real. Perfect. And also my UGB can be something like this. Okay. And also for my OBR camera rig, I can put my object in here. Perfect. Okay. Now we can start our process for uh, grabbing an object in the VR by controller. So initially we can add an object to our scene and put it in here. Oh, it's so big. Uh, something like this, okay. And I want to call it grab. Um, uh, grab. Okay. Grab OBG. Okay. This is that object we want to grab by our uh, controller. Uh, uh, another part is we have to create a folder it's called a script now we can create a new C sharp script inside of this folder and we call grab perfect and drag and drop this grab script to this grab object. Oh, we have to wait for compiling. It's done in here. All right. Remember, we have to add this grab script to all grabbable objects in our scene. All right, now it is ready. Okay, and now we can go to the Visual Studio and start scripting our grab process for our grabbable object. Now we can start our scripting in the Visual Studio. We don't need these parts for now and we can remove them uh, before we start our scripting I want to explain the process of grabbing in fact grabbing is uh, one of these controllers for example, controller of right hand or left hand and go inside or hitting this object. Then uh, we press one of the buttons of the joystick and we will say, OK, uh, let's set the parent of this object 
is equal that controller has been entered. For example, if we want to grab this object by right controller, we will say once we hit the this object by right controller and press button A of the right controller, uh, set the parent of this object equal right controller. Once again, once we uh, when we press the button A again, release this uh, object. What is the release process? In fact, we will say set the parent of this object equal null and it will release and come back to this position. Right, let's to make this option. Oh, before that we have to change the box collider is trigger equal true. So the collider of this object must be trigger. Okay. We will say public boolean is called touched equal false once our controller control right controller or left controller enter to the trigger the touched boolean will be true another part is void on trigger enter it is collider other or I don't know something uh, anything we want if uh, order dot transform dot name equal right hand something Or we can do this one. Uh, for example, right now we can uh, do it uh, only for right hand. In the future, we can make it for left hand as well because the process of it is the same. Only thing is the naming of them are different. Okay. We will say if the other dot transform dot name uh, equal right hand the touched equal true okay now in fact it is uh, once the touched equal true it means that that object is ready for grab in the here we will say void update if uh, touched equal true now it is ready to grab we will say if input dot get a uh, in here we have OVR input. OVR input dot we can call any button we want. Button dot the naming of the buttons in here is very important. In the right controller, we have button A and button B, and in the left controller, we have button X and button Y. In fact, in the scripting, the naming of them are different. For example, the button A is equal button 1, button B is equal button 2, button X equal button 3, and button Y is equal button 4 okay because we want to grab this object 
and uh, uh, use the button A for grabbing process, I want to call the button 1 for grabbing. Oh, we can say get get down Say O V R input dot button dot one. Perfect. In here we have to call public game object uh, entered object and in here once the name of that object in has been entered to the trigger is equal right hand on entered object equal other dot game object now we can say transform dot parent is equal entered object dot transform And in here we will say we have another boolean it's called grabbed something once we do that it is equal grabbed F equal if the grabbed equal false try to transform dot parent equal entered object dot transform and set the grabbed equal true then return from our process But in here, once we grabbed that object and it is our second time for pressing the button A and we want to release that object, we will say transform.parent equal null and set the grabbed equal false and return. Okay, and in the last part for grabbing, we will say, okay, once our object exit from the process, uh, from the trigger, sorry, uh, and other dot transform dot name equal right hand, set the touched equal false, and enter the object equal no perfect let's come back to the editor and do some things in the controller right okay we don't need to change anything in the grab script this entered object and these boolean variables will be uh, set by our uh, objects automatically okay but we have to do something in the right controller and add in here a trick uh, a collider we will add a new cube in here and set the name of this cube equal right hand In fact, 
This cube is the collider of our right hand. Right now it is the collider of our touch controller. In the future it will be the collider of our right hand as well. Perfect. Now we don't need to have this mesh. Only keep the collider. And we have to add the physics rigid body. But its, kinem it's kinematic must be on. Because we don't need to have gravity. Perfect. I want to change the size to 0 0.09. Something oh, can be something like this. Perfect. Let's do test in the editor. After that, let's do export an APK and test it in the real condition. Okay. How we can test it? By drag and drop this collider and hit this object manually. Grab. Okay. It works. It is touched by right hand and the entered object equal right hand. Perfect. Now we can test our mechanism by uh, a button to be able to test in, in, the, in the editor. Input dot get button, sorry, get key down, key code, dot space now we can test our S script by a space put this grab object in front of our view and let's to test it again perfect right hand Try to hit and press space. Perfect. As you can see, the grab object is the child of right hand. And once we move our right hand, in fact, we grabbed. And now once we press again it has been released and grab object is the separated object and once we move our right hand it has been released okay it's time to export an apk from this scene and test it in the real condition all right now it's better for size on our position also our controller okay i'm well, i want to grab this object by my right controller okay and i press a i grabbed it and i press a again to release Okay, this part. Perfect. Now we can go to the next step.